Kinnick Stadium in Iowa City, Iowa. The Hawkeyes of the University of Iowa host the Hoosiers from Indiana University. Hi again, everyone, with Mike Mayock. I'm Dwayne Staff. Nice to have you with us for an afternoon of college football. The Iowa Hawkeyes finished strong last year, Mike. They have started strong this year, and they've done it behind a balanced offensive attack led by Cedric Shaw. You know, this entire Hawkeye offense is built around their tailback, Cedric Shaw. He gained over 1,000 yards last year as a sophomore. He's averaging 158 yards a game this year. He's got explosive speed. He runs a 4-3. Watch his cutback ability. Last week against Michigan State, some guys you have to coach. Others just have great innate athletic ability. And the direct beneficiary of that tailback production is quarterback Matt Sherman. Started the last two games of last year, all four this year, and Dwayne, 6-0 and as Iowa started. When the season started, when you thought of Indiana football, you were supposed to think of Alex Smith, their fine running back, but because of the rib injury, he's unavailable again this week. I have never been around a team with more injuries than this Indiana ball club. How would you like to be Bill Mallory and have 87% of your offense sitting on the bench today? That's exactly what's happened. Most significantly, Chris Ditto, the starting quarterback, is down, replaced by Adam Greenlee. Now, Greenlee's a fifth-year kid. He's a walk-on, and it changes the whole offense. He can't throw nearly as well. No more drop back. What they're going to do, Greenlee on the corner. Option, sprint out, bootleg. It changes the entire offense, Dwayne. Kickoff just a few moments away in Iowa City. Indiana 2 and 3. Iowa 4 and 0. Oh. Right, Here come the Hawkeyes. A homecoming crowd of in the neighborhood of 70,000 plus expected here in Iowa City. A 4 and 0 start for Hayden Fry's club. And they take on Indiana. The Hawkeyes, 1-0 in the Big Ten, and Indiana coming into play in the conference, no wins and two defeats. And as we mentioned, a blustery day here in Iowa. The temperature is 52 degrees, cloudy skies. The wind will be out of the northwest at 20 to 30 miles per hour. That, of course, might have a tendency to see this, this football game ground out on the ground. Kirk Herbstreet is the third member of our crew this afternoon. He'll be along the sidelines, and let's go to Kirk now. Well, Dwayne and, and Mike, I tell you what, coming into this season, the Iowa Hawkeyes had a combined record of 16, 18, and 1 over the past three years. Some people were beginning to wonder what direction the Hawkeye football program was headed, but now all of a sudden they're off to a great start. 4-0, you look around Connick Stadium, you can feel the electricity in the air. People are talking about the Hawkeyes are back, and they're for real. First time they've been ranked in the top 25 this week since the early part of the 92 season, and I'll tell you how they're getting it done. A great offense. You look at their stats in the Big Ten, they rank first in rushing, first in total offense, and a well known a fact that's not really all that well known. If you look at the unbeaten streak, the Iowa Hawkeyes, you can hear the stadium, the Iowa Hawkeyes have the second longest unbeaten streak, second only to the Nebraska Cornhuskers. They're going to try, try and continue that streak this afternoon against Indiana. All right, thank you, Kirk. People around Iowa City are reminiscing about the days in 1985 and 87 and 1991. They won 10 games in each of those years, and they are fired up about their Hawkeyes. You know, Kirk makes a good point. Nationally, there hasn't been much recognition since 1990 for this club, and they're still questioning the schedule. Remember, they opened up Northern Iowa at Iowa State. New Mexico State really didn't face a challenge until the first Big Ten game last week where they handled Michigan 21-7. So I think as the season progresses, we'll find out what kind of club we have here. Aiden Fry, 120 wins here at Iowa in his 17th season. 34th year coaching overall. He has 209 career victories. And after a couple of down seasons, he's enjoying this fast start. Across the field, a little different story for the Indiana coaching staff. They've been besieged by this injury bug. Well, we talked about it in the open, and, and I meant that truly. I've never, ever seen a team. I've been around a lot of football my whole life, but I've never seen an offensive unit banged up like this. We didn't even mention all the histories in that open. We just took the four or five most significant. It represents 87% of their offense. Indiana 
won the toss. Kind of difficult to come into a game like this, putting the whole game on the line with a fifth-year walk-on quarterback with his first start. Todd Romano teeing up the football. Look at the angle of the football there. It was set up on the tee a little bit differently than most kickers do. Ajamu Stoner, one of the deep men for Indiana. Wilkerson back there. And into the end zone. And out it comes to the 10, 15, and drop. Close to the 15-yard line, Joey Ellums on the return. And here is the Indiana offense, Adam Greenlee, the fifth-year senior. At quarterback, Steve Lee and Sean Glover. The receivers, Stoner at the split end, Wilkerson the flanker, at tight end, Ben Klusmeyer. And across the front line, Chris Lewinsky is back after a knee injury. Bukowski, Side, Mihalik, and Williams. First play from scrimmage. Howdy. And Glover, the ball carrier. Defensively for Iowa. Across the front line, Bennett, DeVries, Bickham, the nose guard, the floor, and Bill Innes Inge. The two linebackers, Diaco and Rollins. The defensive backs, Knight, Jackson, Robinson, and Plez Atkins. Out of the eye. And the pitch goes to Glover, trying to get around the right corner. Back to the fifth. Glover, it's third and nine for the Hoosiers. And flags before the play is started. Defense. That's the new rule. Five-yard penalty. Down and still. On third and four. Split backfield. Two wide receivers split on either side. And the give goes to Glover up the Indiana out of the eye in the backfield. Greenlee floats it to the left side. He has second down. Two. Right up the middle on the draw. Glover running room and then some. And for the year coming into this game. Shotgun. Greenlee dumps it off to the left side. He has Glover who is hit immediately at mid. Glover across the four, six for Indiana. Two wide receivers out of the eye. Glover right up the middle and a big opening for the first. At the line of scrimmage. Glover again looking to the left side. But a good run. Second down, four yards. Again out of the eye. Lee and Glover. Greenlee drops the ball. And it's covered up by Iowa. So there's the fumble problem. The fumble problem that has space with the football on the 30. Sherman with the pitch to Shaw. Out to the 40. The stop. Matt Sherman, the quarterback with Filer and Shaw in the backfield for Iowa. Their receivers, Richard Carter, Tim Dwight. He'll be fun to watch today. And the tight end is Scott Slutsker. Across the line, Verba, Purdy, Wiegman, Goff, and Quaker. A first down and 10. The ball on the 44. Price in motion. Pennock, Hammerstein, Rashid, and Davis, the defensive line. The linebackers, Robinson, Baisley, and Surface. And the defensive backs, Allen, Warnicky, Smedley, and Ellums. Second down coming. All close to the original line of scrimmage. And on the reverse, Tim Dwight around the left side, sweeping to the 50, the 40, the 30, down to the 20, and he's going to go into the end zone on the reverse. Touchdown run for Tim Dwight. A 56-yarder, and Iowa breaks out in front. Iowa's 
scores on a 56-yard run by Tim Dwight with 7.57 to play in the front. And he's back in the middle. And the point after is good. Robert 10 of 10 this year in the point after touchdown department. Timeout on the field. 7.57 to play first quarter. 7-0. Iowa leading Indiana. And it's a touchdown. Kickoff rolls to the five. Picked up by Ellens there. And back to the nine. be a tough place. Line of scrimmage, their own 14. The gift to Glover. Second and eight. Adam Greenlee, a quarterback for Indiana. Running to the right side under pressure. Let's it go on its Alabama. Then Dwight will be deep for Iowa on the punt. He hits at the 44 across midfield and down to about the 45 yard line where Iowa will take over a punt of 38 yards. 6.53 to play in the quarter. Iowa 7, Indiana nothing. Back after this. Here in Iowa, the Hawkeyes lead the Hoosiers 7-0. First and 10 from their own 45. Shaw oh. on the... Carter in motion coming to the right side. And they give to Shaw, who tries to cut outside and tries to cut back in, slipping. They've got a history of inverting their safeties and having problems with play-action pass. Third and 13. Gibson in motion coming to the right side. And timeout, Iowa. 5.29 left, first quarter, 7-0 Iowa over Indiana. They shift down to the eye. And Sherman drops straight back to pass. And as a man at the 10.5. Most important offensive stat there is in the passing game. The pitch goes to Shaw at the 40. Try to coaches are happy. Second down, six for the Hawkeyes. It's a Spiler. Down to the ball. Filer did a great job. A flag on the play. 440 to play in the first quarter. Drive Filer again, right up the middle. He's still pushing. Diversity. Iowa leading this one, seven nothing with the football late in the first quarter. He's checking off here. They've got an eight-man front. Sherman. Down he goes. Boy. And the punt carries through the end zone. There's Adam Greenlee. First college start, a fifth-year senior. Ball start, offense, five-yard penalty. Still first down. From their own 15. Split backs and move. First quarter. Out of the eye, two wide receivers, and contact again. Oh, so back. We go to the 15. Penalty. Still flashbacks right now. First and 15. And a little counter into... Glover, straight up the middle and out across. Glover, through again. Freshman, true freshman, is in the game now. Greenlee, rolling out to the right side. And then in. And Glover is back in for Indiana. Glover on the carry. It's Glover. And first is 85 yards for Glover already. Greenlee back to pass. That's Glover at midfield and into Iowa territory. Five step drop. Greenlee scrambling straight up the middle now. First and 10. Out of the eye. Wide receiver to the right side. Greenlee comes left side this time and is caught. He may have returned to the line of scrimmage. And that's it. That's two option plays for about minus six yards and a fumble in the first series. I'm not sure we're going to see a whole lot of option today. And the first quarter is over. 
That is the end of the first Iowa quarter. leading. On the touchdown run, it's 7-0 Hawkeyes at the end of one quarter. Did make the trip to lend a hand to Adam Greenlee to help out along the sideline. Greenlee looking for a receiver over the middle, and it's incomplete. Stone a wide to the right side. Three wide receivers, two right side, one on the left side. Greenlee over throws. And the punt. But not Shaw gets the carry on the first play from scrimmage to the 35 and out of the eye. And to give in rushing with 158 yards per game average. This is Spiler. House Lutzker standing up from that two point position. Flags on this play. <laughs> Iowa leading 7-0. German rolling and a pass in. Gallery to do the punting. Stoner at the 23. Stripped up there. Timmy Dwight. It was Dwight. <laughs> and flags fall on the play. Now, remember, in college football, you have to give the receiver two yards clearance to catch the punt. Timmy Dwight was a little bit too close that time. <laughs> well, if Dwight's going to make a mistake, it's going to be an aggressive mistake. <laughs> That's the kind of player he is. <laughs> he is such a tough kid for a wide receiver. It's scary. He ran a 10-3, 100 meters this summer without even training in an AAU meet. The coaches tell us, and we saw on tape yesterday, he absolutely killed the defensive back. Interference with the opportunity. Five, two-yard radius foul. First down. So Indiana will take over. Trailing Iowa, 7-0 with 13-21 left to go in the first half. Line, Glover and Lee in the backfield, and it's Glover who gets the call, pushing his way out to the 30 and that last play, five yards. Wilkerson wide to the left side on second and five. Glover runs right into Bobby Diaco. Was also on that high school team in the defensive backfield. A pass complete to Glover, and he carried. He certainly has been an all-purpose player today. Damian Matthews in the game. And here's a give right up. We like the balance. Second down. Glover looking for some this in this game. Glover with 100 yards, 16 carries so far. Right back to the well. This is Glover. All his life. Indian Hartfield in the backfield. The give goes to the big guy Lee back there. He tries to carry it out. Sarah tail back out of the eye. Took a breather and then gets the ball again. 7 0 Iowa. Eight man front. Glover fighting his way through. Out of the eye. Lee and Glover in the backfield. Green Lee. That's going to be close. And Sherman, their quarterback. And the pitch on a reverse again. This is Tim Dwight. Breaks a tackle across midfield. Still going. And on first down. Wayne and, and Mike, I think you guys will like this. I'm standing right outside the visiting locker room at Knick Stadium. And as a cameraman goes, take a look at the wall. It's, no it's, way. it's become a big, <laughs> big uh, kind of a tradition here in Iowa. I guess they do it at Carver Hawkeye uh, Arena as well. They, they paint the opposing locker room pink to gain a psychological edge. I thought you guys might like that. Kirk Herb Street going where no man has gone before. <laughs> oh, How'd you like to get ready for your big, big ten tussle in a pink locker room? Yeah, but so far, Indiana very much better than most people thought they could be said to be in the pink right now. Uh, Down by all, both tight ends up this time, Slutsker and Price. And Sherman. If there's a downside, it's that he can't block as effectively. Gallery field. 
Glover hit at the 22. Second down, seven. End over, end over situation for Indiana. Greenlee lets it go oh. and is hit. Boy, did he have a hit. They come out third down. Indiana five of eight on third down conversion. Greenlee looking over the middle. Has a receiver at the 40-yard line. That's what the first quarter fumble. The big mistake in this game from the Hoosier perspective. And this one, here comes Blitz. They've got an eight-man front. And Matthews wide to the right side. Greenlee is going to be dropped. First time. Greenlee right back. Looking, scrambling. Out of Glover. Glover hit it. Nope. Procedure. Illegal formation. Five in the backfield. Decline. Fourth down. To do the kicking. He gets it away. Really guy backpedaling, but it's going to be over his head and will bounce into the end. Not Indiana. Shaw and Filer come out of the backfield. Shaw's going to get the carry. Leaps over a guy in motion coming to the left side. And Sherman looking. Now under pressure. He moves to the right side and Shaw. Man to man covers. Split backfield. Chef match right now, Dwayne. They checked off and so did the defense. Sherman. There's a man open at the 42. That's Donor back for Indiana. And this is going to result in good field position for Indiana. The ball in the Iowa 36, and Glover gets the call. He will carry it to the 30. Glover on second down and two. First and 10. Greenlee. Trying to turn to court. 11. Greenlee. In the air. Has a completion inside the 10. Double tight end. Ward and Kluzmeyer. And the gifts. The two tight ends again on the double tight end set out of the eye. Glover tripped up. Trying to fall forward. And he's across the goal line. Glover. Into the end zone for the Indiana touchdown on a one-yard attempt is up and good. So Bill Monon deep for Iowa. Offside the on Indiana. the kickoff. This one is clean. And it will bounce into the end zone. Dwight. Letting it bounce. Odoms and Dwight wide. And the Humble. give to Shaw. And the ball is loose. The ball loose. Ball's loose Picked up by Indiana. And I think the Hoosiers are going to come out of this with possession. And how about that? Glover trying to turn the corner. And he's in trouble at the 18-yard line. For a 34-yard attempt. Longest of the year, 45, and this one is up, and it is good. Manoopoulos has converted on the field goal attempt. The have hung close, and they have taken the lead in the closing seconds of the first half. Into the end zone and through. Maybe they're going to change other locker room to have. I don't know. If you're behind, you go to the pink locker room. Stoner watches it bounce by him and through the end zone. Glover and Lee in the backfield. Two wide receivers on the right side. And Glover gets the call. Second and three. Glover stepping his... Dorian Wilkerson wide to the left side. And the give to Glover again. Pushing his way out to the 40 and beyond. Tom Knight in from the corner to make the stop on Glover. We talked about the importance of the fullback. Watch 37 in the eye offense. 
he gets the kick out block on Ennis Eng, and that opens up the corner. It wasn't a 20 yard gain, but it was a first down or close to a first down. They just continue to push the pile and pick up four to five yards of pop. They come up just inches short of a first down on that carry by Glover. So it will be second and very short to go for the first down. Here's one where you, you might even take a shot. Second and inches. How about a little double tight play action and see if you can sneak your tight end or somebody down the field. High formation, running set. They keep it on the ground as Glover gets the call. Double tight end set. And the pass. Wilkerson, one of the wide receivers. Flip backs. Greenlee on that draw. Looking for room and out to Ditto there on the sideline. Greenlee in there because of the injury to Ditto. Here's a pass on third and long to Wilk situation. That's Guy. And Dwight deep as the ball is quarterbacking the Hawkeyes. And he's passing on first and ten. Tim Dwight out. This is Cedric Shaw. Shaw back. Second and 22. They trail 10 7 at the moment. Sherman looking across the middle, and he has a receiver. Second. Third and two. A swing to Shaw. Around the corner at the 40. Bumped out of all for the Hawkeye. Sees the eight-man front. Coming to the right side, and he has Willie Guy into ND1. Checking off again. Shaw on the carry. He has the first well, wide to the right side. Wide on the left side, and Dwight, the receiver. He's got him at the 35-yard line as he spins inside. Slutker and Price, both tight ends in the game. Change the strength of the formation for cross motion. Price in motion. Shaw looking for room, trying to cut back. Second down, three. Sherman has a man. Better, most consistent drive of the day. Odom's wide to the right side. First and ten, and Shaw gets the call. Tripped at the line of scrimmage, but he gets away and takes it down to the 15. I think we're going to get a personal foul. Yep. Indiana, half the disc from the seven. One back offense, two tight ends, and two wide receivers. Shaw the long back. Price motion to the right side, and Shaw's going that way. He will. Take it into the end zone for the touchdown. Cedric Shaw into the end zone to give Iowa the lead. It comes at 8.30 in the third quarter. Shaw scoring his sixth touchdown of the year. On the point after, Robert pops it. The kickoff taken at the five by Ellums. Out to the 20 and across. Now Glover and Lee in the backfield. Dorian Wilkerson in the game as well. Glover is a loss of two. It's second and 12. Greenlee will go to the air. The 27 no. yard line, That's even under pressure. Look back for you. Greenlee looking. And he has a completion to Ward. Ward up the field. Of the I'm not sure a wide receiver has a reception yet. Greenlee. Round the right side, upended it. Under the eye. Glover gets the call straight up the middle. Bounces off one man and then ball in their own 48 yard line. Glover counters 
up side, up to the line of scrimmage, looking for five on second down. Offset eye. Glover. Approaching first down yardage. Glover caught as he approached the line of the ball, a run option. Wilkerson in as a wide receiver. Greenlee floats it up for one of his tight ends. It's going to go in, come down wide to the left side. Stoner split wide to the right. Split backfield. Greenlee straight back. Comes to the left sideline and has an incomplete pass. They have Guy and Dwight deep. And this punt into the end zone. And 10 as Sherman directs the offense for Iowa. He's going to pass first and 10. He's going deep along the right sideline. Wide and Carter wide on the left side on second and 10. And a pass thrown behind yards on the day. Wide, wide along with Gibson. Sherman right back to pass on third and 10. Was hit as he left. I believe a bullet pin. This punt with some carry. Stone has trouble corralling it. Finally picks it up at the 6 to the 10. Looking for any kind of... Wilkerson, one of the wide receivers. The backfield stacked in the eye. Glover tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. Unblock scheme for Indiana. Journey and Wilkerson wide on the left side. Greenlee will keep the ball. Now he gets rid of it, and it is a... Or, or alignment downfield. Team. Greenlee. A mix-up. Fumble. The ball carried back toward the Willie Guy back for Iowa. He'll be on the very back line of the end zone. Boy, that's an uncomfortable position for a punter. Sophomore punter, Alan Sutkowski. He's a former walk-on. Moves it out to the 45. Taken at the 49-yard line. Tim Dwight looking to turn the corner. Oh, just about broke the tackle. In the backfield. Well, the guy wide to the right side. And the give is to Fabian Bank. Moves out. Herman completing a pass to the 46. Slutsker in as well on the double tight end set. And a big problem for Sherman, Eric Allen. Iowa gets the punt away. And it's going to bounce all the way into the end zone. Stoner was back. Great shot. Glover and Lee in the backfield for Indiana. Glover on the handoff, an opening. Out across the 76 yards on 36 carries. Glover trying to turn the corner. Warren Wilkerson split wide. Right up the middle to give. Start the fourth quarter in Iowa. Greenlee on the option. And the give to Glover. Caught at the line of scrimmage. And 11 for Indiana. Glover trying the left side this time. And not much luck. Wilkerson. Wide on the right side. Greenlee back to pass. Looking this way for Wilkerson, and it is incomplete at the 22-yard line. Sitkowski gets it away, and that's going to be you know, into the end zone. I'm just tired of seeing Punt fail into the end zone. He's just aiming. Tight end, Slutsker and Price in the game. Slutsker in motion to the left side, and the pitch goes to Shaw. Trying to turn the corner to the sideline. Spins away at the 30, still on his feet at the 35, and up to the 40, across the 40. Ends in here with Slutker and Price. Slutker in motion. They give to Shaw, flags on the play as Shaw got close to the line of scrimmage, which was the 41-yard line, and he was stopped by Baisley. 
procedure against Isle. Down, 10. Right wide on the left side. And Sherman in trouble. Dumps it off to Shaw. Third down, 10. 7 of 15 for 81 yards. Sherman straight back. Looking. Now he'll tuck it in. Stop short. Offensive hold. He's got third and forever. Not a good situation. Big check. Odom's wide on the left side. Sherman back looking for time and a receiver, and he has a man. The ball popped loose and incomplete. Tim Dwight, the intended receiver. Gallery gets the punt away. Stoner back by himself at the 35 and is in trouble immediately. Dropped at the 30. Greenlee goes to the air and has Glover out at the 35 yard line. Who to try and win a game. Wilkerson wide on the left side. Spit backfield. Flags on the play as Greenlee tries to unload it. It goes incomplete, but flat 14 10. Gonna get. Kearney's in the game now, wide to the left side, Wilkerson wide to the right side, and they give to Glover right up the middle as he searches for the first down. <laughs> he has five receptions on top of that. And there's another one, and he is hit at the 30. He's in the backfield again with Steve Lee. Horn is wide on the left side. He tries to turn the corner in the air. What do you think? Yep. Second and 11. Greenlee tucks it in, running up the middle to the 30, 25, and out of bounds as he crosses the 25. Stoner Wilkerson wide on the left side. The give to Steve Lee, who powers his way straight ahead. Ward and Kuzmeyer. Both in there at the tight end spot. Wilkerson wide to the left side. Glover gets the call, headed straight up the middle for a pickup of two, perhaps three. Ward, Kuzmeyer in there. Will Horn wide left. Glover and Lee in the backfield. The pitch to Glover, looking for a room around the left corner. Four wide receivers. Horn and Kearney in there, along with Stoner. The other one is Wilkerson. <laughs> Indiana's offensive personnel, four wides in the game. Glover in the backfield out of the shotgun. And the pass is incomplete. Behind him, you see, he's got a chance to break a tackle on Plez Atkins there if he throws it out in front. Bill Manoopoulos, a 23-yard attempt, puts it up and through. And the kickoff, wide and Gibson deep. And this one hits the very back of the end zone and bounce can run the ball either way check with me at the line of scrimmage right here Odom got wide to the left side right on the right side the pitch back to Shaw Edward Shaw trying to turn the corner up to a breakout with Filer and Shaw in the backfield Richard Carter wide on the right side right on the left side Shaw Spinning up to the 25, now the 26. <laughs> Women's pro billiards. What do you think? That's right. Rise in motion. Nothing on this one. Sorry, Timmy. It's 10th tackle for loss this year. It's a stoner at the 46. Maybe midfield. The flag down. Fake right ball forward for six feet two inches. My height. <laughs> I average six feet two for return. <laughs> for safety, you've got to be careful of that. Stoner and Wilkerson wide left side. Greenlee on the give to Glover. Boy, he is having some days. On second down, a call again to Glover. Stoner, Kearney, Matthews, Wilkerson all out. They're wide from the shotgun. Greenlee 
Uh -oh. Pass to the right Jesus. side, and it's intercepted with a clear field. Tom Knight down the sideline, and he goes in for the touchdown. Tom Knight on the interception. A 60-yard return, and he had nothing but open highway in front of him. and a 60-yard return makes it 2013 Iowa with a point after to come. Hurley in. Brian Hurley to attempt this point after. And it's a fake. And they will take it in for two. Ryan Driscoll. Driscoll, who turns out to be the back. The interception and the... Return for the touchdown. The kickoff picked up by Ellums. Ellums forcing his way ahead wide. And Glover and Lee split in the backfield behind Adam Greenland. Greenland setting up. And is it intercepted or not? It's going to be incomplete. Hit the ground. Vernon Rollins came very close to picking up an interception. He thought he had. A clean interception. Like most things, this is the pressure from behind that causes the poor throw. It does look like it hits the ground. Greenlee to Glover and no eyes versus a nickel defense. Greenlee out of the shotgun. Wobbly pass. Now that there, that's an automatic first down. There is no flag. Oh, no flag is the call. How about that? Off. And Tim Dwight drops back for Iowa. And this one hits at the five and bounces into the end zone. Filer in the backfield. Shaw takes the handoff. He has five. Iowa the top 25 for the first time since early in 92. Dwight can idolize the Iowa football players. It's not unusual to have them stay home. Tyler and Shaw. Backfield for the Hawkeyes. Shaw takes the handoff. Down to the 34th side this time. Second down and seven. Shaw to get to the outside, approaching the fourth line and three linebackers in the game. It's an eight-man front with only three defensive backs. Front behind the line here, and Nathan Davis in to make the... Punted away, a booming punt. Taken at the 12 by Stoner. Out to about... And we qualify him here at Iowa. <laughs> Greenlee in the air and has a completion at the 27 to Damian. Second down and two. Greenlee from the shotgun across the middle, and he has a receiver at the 42, but he could not hang on. That he could have potential to be one of the best they've ever had. Glover met as he tried to go straight ahead and got nothing. That will bring about going to go for it. Fourth and a long two. Greenlee going to dart inside, and he's going to come up short of the first down with about 47 seconds to play. Bobby Diaco, the linebacker, had to make the stop. It has not been an easy afternoon for Iowa. Hawkeyes did take a little more control in the second half. This is Filer. That's going to be the last play of the game. A big play of this one, the interception by Tom Knight. That pretty much sealed it for the Iowa Hawkeyes, who go 5-0 since 1986, when they won the Holiday Bowl and finished 9-3. and Aiden Fry's got it going again. You remember back in 86 with the great quarterbacks, Chuck Long, who's on the staff now as a defensive back coach. Excellent job keeping their composure, hanging in there when they were being thoroughly outplayed by Indiana. So the Iowa Hawks.
Hawkeyes were trailing at the half. They come away with a victory over Indiana. A great effort by the Hoosiers. 22-13 the final.